Okay, let's rename the composition. So in the project window, click on the name and press the return key. And we'll do the same thing for the layer names, give them more appropriate names. So we have a back cover and a front cover. Just press return when you're done. We're going to add a spine to our book, so we're going to start off with a solid layer. And we can uh, choose an approximate height. We're going to change the scale of the layer later. Set a color and click OK. And we notice the solid is on the same plane as the front cover. Make sure you select the 3D switch in the yellow solid layer and we're just going to rotate the spine 90 degrees so we get it looking like it's going to fit on the side. We can use our camera tools to just change the view so we can see how we're placing the spine and then to position the spine you'll use the arrow keys in combination with changing the values directly in the layer position. So you can type in those parameters or you can just use the arrow keys and navigate up and down to line up the spine. So we have to line it up in a number of ways. We have to make sure the size is correct, make sure the height is correct, and you can see it's floating above right now. So we're going to just use the uh, parameter to lower that. And then we can finish it off with the arrow keys. And then we can uh, bring it in. I'm just going to bring it in a little bit. We can use again the camera tool see where it's positioned and it's actually sitting in in front so we're just going to tuck it what we think is inside we'll get it close and then we're going to zoom in and take a look at it I'm just going to scale it up a little bit with the arrow keys move it up I'm going to have it a little bit from the top and a little bit from the bottom it's supposed to look like pages Use the camera tool to help us see if uh, it's lining up correctly. I'm just going to zoom in a bit here. Looks okay on the front. A oh, little, uh, little through the front. Came through the front a little bit. There we go. So it's not through the front, but I've accidentally put it through the back cover. We'll see that in a second here. Yeah, there we go. It's through the back, so we're going to have to fix that. That's why you have these great views. So there it is. It's through the back cover, so we're going to have to adjust that a little bit. I'm just going to use the selection tool, pressing V, and then just use the arrow tool. And I just got to be really careful. It looks like it's a little bit through the front cover again. So we'll just have to be really careful. Uh, we may have to resize that a little bit. It might be a, a little too wide. Otherwise, not too bad. And we can use the various camera tools to help us uh, look at it, make sure it's correct. And if you just keep pressing the C key, you can toggle through the various cameras. We can zoom in. You can toggle along different axes, and you can rotate. 
So a lot of ways to view your your object. So that's pretty good.